Hi there, and welcome to Silicon Valley High School. So, you enrolled in a course. Now what? This video will help you get started. You can access your account from any computer as long as you have an internet connection. svhs.co is our website. Once you get there, click Log In. Here you will enter the username and password that you used when creating your account. If you ever lose this information, please use this lost password link. You can search for your account by either username or, if you don't remember that, email address. Once you click search, it will send you an email with a link to change your password. And in the body of the email, you will find your username. Let's log in. First, we are going to review all of the buttons on the top of this page starting with the home page. This home page is updated throughout the year and has some great information on it. It's a great place to check regularly for important notices and updates. Take the time to review this page, especially when getting started. Next, we have the dashboard. This is where you can see all of the courses you are enrolled in and a snapshot of the progress for each course. Next, we have my courses. This is just another way to navigate to the courses you are enrolled in. Once you have selected a course, you will see the This Course tab. Here you can find quick links to your gradebook, the Assignment Submission Status page, see different sections of the course, and find your course completion record. Next, All Courses. This is a catalog of all the courses we offer you can purchase courses directly from here. Then we have transcripts. This is the form you will need to fill out when requesting your transcript. We do not automatically send out transcripts, so if you don't fill out this form, your transcript won't be sent anywhere. It is free to request a transcript, and you can use this form as many times as needed. You can have it sent to your school or to yourself. It can be sent by email, which will be sent out immediately, it can be sent by mail. This takes about two to three weeks or both. Please note we do not use parchment or any other secure online site to deliver electronic transcripts. So if your school requires this, you will need to choose the print and mail option. Next, we have buy course. This is just another place to view and purchase the courses we offer. You can add them to your cart and purchase them. Moving on to our tutoring page, you can book tutoring sessions straight from this page. First by finding the subject you need tutoring in and then book a session. If you click on book tutor, this will pull up this particular tutor's schedule. You can select a date and time that works best for you, then fill in your details and purchase. You will receive an email with the confirmation of time and a Zoom link, so make sure it didn't end up in your spam folder. If you don't receive this email, please use the Ask the Teacher link in your course so that we can help you before your tutoring session. And last, we have About SVHS. This navigates you to our homepage of our website, where you can find out a lot of information, such as information about our team, you can find out our contact information, and it's a good idea to check out our policies page found here at the bottom. Now that we've done an overview, let's go back to the dashboard. This really is the best place to access your courses. As mentioned, this is where you will see all the courses you are currently enrolled in. To get started, click on the name of the course you wish to open. First, a few things of note. As you can see here, we ask that students submit all of their assignments two weeks before the semester ends. This may be different than our semester dates, so you need to know when your grades are due and work to that deadline. Also, that grading can take up to seven school days at the end of the semesters. This includes May for our spring semester, August for our summer semester, and January for our fall semester. Please plan accordingly. At the top of every course are instructions and important information that pertains to that particular course, so don't skip over this information. 
Because I'm in the biology course, we can see I will need some supplies to do my labs. And that list is provided here. There's also a video on how to write my lab reports. This will walk me through how to do my labs. Our chemistry course requires the purchase of a lab kit, and that information is detailed in this same place. Moving down to the how to take this course section. In here, you will find instructions for the course, including the grading breakdown, suggested timeline to help keep you on track, and instructions on submitting your assignments. This is especially important for large files and video assignments. When submitting your assignments, you should receive a confirmation email when you have completed your submission, as well as when a grade or feedback has been given by your teacher. Please make sure to check your spam folder for these and let us know if you are not receiving them. If you need help or have any questions, please use this Ask the Teacher link. This will open a new page and you can put your question in this box. A response will be sent to the email address on your account in one to three days. This chat feature goes to our customer support team. It does not go to your teacher. Most of our courses have this mandatory quiz. You will be quizzed on all of the material covered in these first few links, such as how many days does it take to get your assignments graded? And where do you go if you have questions? You will need to take this quiz in order to gain access to the rest of your coursework. Once the quiz has been taken, your course will open and you can begin. Starting at the top, you will have a lesson followed by a quiz. Please follow the sequence of this course and do not skip around. Quizzes can be taken as many times as you would like and the highest score is always kept. Once you have completed all of the lessons and quizzes in that unit, please complete the unit assignment. All assignments are required. Do not leave them to the end of the semester. This is the only part of your course you will submit to your teacher and grading may take up to three full school days or up to seven school days at the end of the semester. Be sure to plan ahead for this. Once you've submitted your assignment, you can move on to the unit test. This will test your knowledge of everything covered in this unit. So it may be a good idea to review a few quizzes if you don't feel prepared. Once you click start, you will have three hours to take the test. You cannot close or pause the test. The clock will continue running. So make sure you are prepared and have the time to finish it in one sitting. Once you have finished the unit test, you have completed the unit and can move on to the next. Once you have taken all of the unit tests in your course, you will be given the chance to retake two. A link will open near the bottom of your course for you to make this request. Please make sure to do this before you take the final exam. Once all of your coursework has been completed and graded, your final exam will automatically open and you'll be able to complete the course. If your final is not opening, this means you have incomplete work and you will need to go back to your course and see what is missing. As with the unit tests, once you start, you have three hours to complete and you cannot close down or pause the test. Once the final exam has been taken, your course is over. So if you feel you're not prepared or not happy with your grade, please make any modifications before you start the final exam. You will only get one chance to take the final. As soon as you complete the final, you can use these links below to submit feedback and request your transcript. Going back to the dashboard, just some quick links I want to review. You can check your grades by going to Gradebook. And you can check the status of your assignments by clicking on Assignments. This is a good page to review periodically to make sure your assignments have been fully submitted and graded. Just because you submitted them does not mean they were graded. If it says no submission, you have not submitted your assignment. If it says draft, this either means that you did not complete the submission steps or that your teacher has reverted it back to draft because they could not grade it as you submitted it. You will need to click on the actual assignment to find out what happened. If it says submitted for grading and has a grade next to it, it's done. If you wish to improve your grade on any of your assignments, please use the Ask the Teacher link and request to have it reopened. And finally, the dashboard gives you a quick overview of where you are in the course. You can see how many quizzes there are, unit tests, and assignments. 
you can see which ones are completed and incomplete. A note on assignments. If your assignment has been reopened by your teacher or you have requested it to be reopened and decided not to resubmit it, our system considers this as not submitted and it will reflect here. However, if the assignment has a grade, it will not prevent you from moving forward and completing the course. If you have a general question, you can use this ask a question button up here, but please don't use it for course specific questions or questions for your teacher. Reach out at any time with any questions. We're happy to help.